he was um, an alcoholic also, and he uh, uh, cheated on me several times. He was abusive. The first, about the first eight years of our marriage, he was physically abusive um, until I stood up to him. I was nine months pregnant, and he started shoving me around, and uh, I shoved back. And I said, no more, you're never going to lay a hand on me again. Um, I had a gun pointed at my head at one time, and he said, I could blow your head off right now. And um, I think if I would have said something in response to that, he would have. He continued his off and on relationship with his abuse and his drinking and his carousing. Um, and I, I endured that for 24 years and um, gave him permission to abuse me is what I feel I did. I didn't know how to get out of it. I had three children by that time, didn't know how to break loose of it. I was coming home one night just, just weeping and crying from work and, and praying about it and I said, I don't know what to do, God. You've got to show me what to do. And I said, should I divorce him? Should I not? You know, give me an answer. And the only thing that God said to me is, what do you want to do above anything else? And I said, I want to serve you. And I want to, I want to be there for, to do what you want me to do above anything. I don't care. Anything else, it doesn't matter. And he said to me, I believe he said to me, what, what you do will be my desire for you because I have given you the desires of your heart. And that really set me free. It, it, um, it gave me the courage to go through with what I needed to go through. And uh, so I, I went ahead with the divorce, and um, it felt like a hundred pounds of weight lifted off my shoulders when I walked out of that office. I know God wants us to stay in relationships and, and try to make the best of relationships. I'm not condoning divorce. I believe that God has a plan for each one of us, and uh, I believe that, that He brings us back full circle because He has restored to me everything that I have lost. He's restored to me um, a new husband, and we've been married almost 25 years now, and he's given me a man that um, truly treats me like I should be treated. I asked God one day as um, I was laying there, I said, God, why did I, why did I wait 24 years? What's the purpose of that? Why was I in that relationship for 24 years when I knew it was wrong? And he said, you were in that relationship not only for you to learn and to grow and to find me, but you were in that relationship because I was drawing him. Toward the end, he passed away uh, four years ago, and toward the end of his life, he, uh, he came back to God. He restored his relationship with God. Mm. And um, I, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that he, that he did... Uh, find forgiveness. I believe it's a message of hope. Um, hope that no matter where you're at in life, it doesn't matter if you're with an abuser or if you're with an alcoholic or if, if you've been in that situ situation of being, I mean, I had a choice. I could have been an alcoholic. My father was one. My generations of family members. Um, I could have chosen to be an alcoholic or I could have chosen to be promiscuous and go on with my life that way. But I chose not to, and um, and it wasn't because of my strength. It was because that I relied on God to do that for me. Because in in myself, I can't do anything. No matter what situation you're in, there is hope, and um, God is able.